this is going to be a very simple leaf casting job since all that we are doing is just going down the one side and it's going to be easy peasy so let me just put my piece of film right now let's get it down I'm just cleaning off some of the residue that's on here. We're gonna use the same pulp that we used for the first wrap that I did. Okay, we're gonna do the same. And I hope I have enough. I believe I will have enough to do the job. If we don't, uh, I don't have any more of it, so it may be a problem. But there's no problems, there's only solutions, and we'll take care of the situation if it turns out bad. So what I have here is my blender. I just blended up the pulp. I keep the pulp in the refrigerator when I'm not using it so it stays nice and fresh. And let's pour it into the squeeze bottle just like this so I do have a whole bottle of pulp which should be enough it should be so I think we're gonna be in good shape so hold your ears guys because we're gonna get going we're gonna do some leaf casting enjoy I'm gonna put on the vacuum <laughs>
Okay, guys, I just want to point something out. With this newsprint, the vintage newsprint, and the new newsprint, I don't get a thick pulp, so it has to be done in layers. And what I want to do is I want the water to seep down now with the suction on. I'm going to let it set, and then I'm going to put another layer on. And I'm putting this to get a little bit more section because suction because usually, as you know, we're dealing with one full, one full wrap, which covers the surface area of the remain more, okay? So let's do it again. Okay, ladies and gents, so I think that is thick enough right there, and people ask me, how do you know how thick to do it? Well, a lot of it is with experience. I am developing a lot of experience in leaf casting from doing many, many books, as everyone knows, and I think that this is going to be a nice covering of what I wanted. Now, I have to be frank, the actual leaf casting with the vintage pulp is a little bit different than using the new pulp that I use. So what I want to do is I want to cover this with Hollytex. I'm going to use Hollytex now to make it smooth. I'm rolling it off on the side and we're just gonna relay the holly text just like this. And then what I'll do is I will cover it. That's good enough. And I'm gonna put the suction on so we can suck it down with the holly text. And it's gonna be some sucking now, guys. So I hope it's not too loud in YouTube world. Now I'm gonna put this on a little bit, just like this, and we'll let it suck down. Maybe I'll put a paper towel on it to get some of the moisture out. <laughs>
doki, ladies and gentlemen. I think that is pretty good. I think we achieved our goal. Remember, we're going to cut a lot of that leaf casting off. So what are we going to do next? What I want to do is I want to lift up the sheet just like this. Let's put a, a tray down in here so we can move it a little bit better or easier. I don't like the way this is not laying flat, so I'm going to try to lay it a little bit better flat. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So here's our leaf casted third half sheet wrap and that is going to flip around. So what I'm going to do guys is let me remove the leaf casting table and then I'll be right back and we'll do some blotting. Okay, some nice blotting. You always need to blot it. I do it various ways, sometimes different each time, but heck, we're not dealing with an exact science. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. And we have the wrap here, which is going to be a wrap that I'm going to flip over. The Action Comics. So I want to do some blotting. I'm using some recycled paper towels. As everyone knows, I use a lot of paper towels. And I usually get about three to four times usage out of them. I will dry them and use them again, dry them and use them again to try to cut back on some waste. So right now you can see all of, not all, you never use the word all unless it's truly all, a lot of the moisture coming out of this half sheet the half wrap and this is a good thing because once we get the moisture out it will dry quicker and flatter here we go we'll put a little bit more pressure with the rolling a pin like i'm making a pizza pie and that looks pretty good we're getting there i'm going to use some more towels let's use our spoon and let's give it a nice rubbing. So what I want to do now is I want to just press this wrap here. And I'm not going to press it in Big Bertha because I don't have shelving units for the job. So I'm going to do an old fashioned press. So we have it here. I need a piece of glass. So People have seen me use glass shelving units, right, to press the comics. And I'm looking for my glass right now, and I don't think that I have it because I'm using it for other things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a paper towel over this sheet. Let's just put one for now. Then what I can do is I can use, uh, da, 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 da. hold on guys, I'm a little unorganized today, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. So what I'm gonna use is my pad, and then I'm gonna use two shelving units, just like that. And what's behind this shelving unit? Let's see. Bam, bam, ba. It's the cover that we're going to start cutting soon and get this baby finished. So here's the cover. Let's put this down on the cover itself. And I haven't used these in a while. Let's get some good old weights. And I'll just put some weights on it. And that's good enough for that third wrap. That will dry up real quick. And that's that for this upload. And then the next upload, what we have to do, guys, is I need to work on the fifth wrap right here, which is a full wrap. But this wrap, as you can see, let's put this to the side, needs some repair by the staple. 
I'm not going to go crazy with leaf casting. I think I'm going to use 10 Gojo paper to heal that. So thank you for stopping by. Appreciate you supporting the channel and stay tuned.